Hi, I'm Sarah Storey, I'm one of the Great Britain cycling team riders, but I'm also a rider for Pelazumi Sports Tours International team, which is going professional for 2016, and we're also about to launch Boot Up Breast Cancer Cycling Club. I was 27 years old when I started cycling. I'm going to be turning into a professional cyclist as a 38-year-old, so, you know, I always say that there's hope for anyone, really. We started out with 10 riders in the first year and we progressed to 12 riders in our second year. And for 2016, we were taking our first team up into the professional ranks. 2016 will be an incredible year because obviously it's got the Olympic and Paralympic Games in there, but it's also got the World Championships in Qatar. We'd had an incredible debut season with 28 victories across the whole year on track and road and time trial. We've had a number of podium clean sweeps, one, two, three, several time trials, um, and there's barely been a race gone by where there hasn't been a, a Pearl Azumi Sports Tours international rider on that podium. Well, Rio is going to be my seventh Paralympic Games with the selection announced on June the 21st, 2016. I've got four gold medals to defend from London in 2012 and in winning those four gold medals, it took my gold medal tally at the Paralympics up to 11 gold medals across what was six Paralympic Games. When I um, was making the switch from swimming to cycling, one of the biggest questions I had is whether I was classifiable enough to be a cyclist. And most people who aren't cyclists don't understand um, how much uh, having two hands plays a part in your ability to function on a bike. Handling and having to have both brakes and all your gears on one side of the bike means it's incredibly crowded and also a huge amount of operation to do with just one hand. We chose Boot Up Breast Cancer as our charity partner. It was only set up in 2009. Uh, my mum had breast cancer in 2004, which was the reason I chose um, the charity to be a patron. Boot Up Breast Cancer has been set up to raise funds for equipment in NHS hospitals to try and plug that postcode lottery gap. If you don't live close to a hospital that has the right facilities for testing and screening, then it may be that a cancer isn't picked up as quickly as it should be. Early diagnosis is, leads to the higher survival rates. Men get breast cancer too, and that's not very well publicised. But of course, cycling is a sport that men and women enjoy. So we felt that it was a really good fit for the club and for the podium ambition as, a, as an organisation. Boot Up Breast Cancer Cycling Club is a, a club jersey that everyone can wear. We certainly don't laugh at anyone who wants to ride a bike. It doesn't matter what shape or size you are, cycling is for everybody. The general membership is available to anybody of any age, whether you want to ride a bike or not. For us, it's about involving like-minded people. Of course, we can't do that without help and support. So we need to find the way to fund what we're doing to provide those opportunities. So if there is anyone out there who is thinking, actually, this is something that I'd really love to be involved with and could perhaps sponsor or join the club, join the captain's club, um, then we'd, be, we'd love to hear from you.